Hello everyone, this is another movie review. I guess before I start, I'll say donate to the GoFundMe, which is in the link to the description for my new short film I'm working on. I just saw the movie Blackberry. <laughs> uh, I'm just worried, right, this isn't gonna get any views. <laughs> I was kind of happy with the views I was getting the last few videos, and then I saw this one. Um, Yeah, that's not getting any, uh, because it was like a small film and already been out for a week and then I'm now I'm doing another small film that's already been out for a week I wanted to review Fury uh, Fa Fast X but that movie is um, it, it's in theater uh, it, uh, my family want to watch it and it's taken them a while to watch it and so probably gonna see it this next weekend and review it the next weekend when it's already too late but whatever it doesn't matter cuz I ended up seeing a damn good movie anyway. So at the end of the day, I guess who cares? Because this is a damn good movie. I saw the movie Blackberry. It is the story of the making of the Blackberry phone. And it was uh, uh, pretty freaking fantastic. I mean, I already knew it was going to be good from the trailer. It had a pretty good trailer. And it has Glenn Howard in it, which is the big draw for me. Because I was a big It's Always Sunny fan. And it kind of sucks that everyone, minus Charlie Day and uh, Danny DeVito, uh, haven't been like in every single movie because they all deserve it because they're all amazing on that show especially well not especially but including Glenn Howarden he has such a great energy to him and he's fantastic in this film he does an amazing job this is a role that was so perfectly suited to him uh, same thing with Jay Brochelle he did an amazing job as well uh, the entire cast is good. I mean, the uh, the best friend, who's also the director, film he can get a little annoying at times, but that's the character. It works for the character. The direction was good. It had it's very kind of documentary style, shaky cam, which I don't always like, but they do give room for some really nice, well framed shots in there, so I can kind of excuse it. The biggest flaw with this movie is that it's not very original. Now, if you see the trailer and then you see the movie by the first ten minutes or so you will pretty much know everything that's going to happen. That's not a bad thing. And it's, you know, they're telling the story of a real life thing. So they can only follow the events as, you know, they need to make it as close as possible. And, you know, if the events transpired like this, then I guess they had no choice but then to make it a bit cliche. But it's there's not a lot of surprises when you watch it. With that said, it's a very energetic film. You're pretty much entertained from beginning to end. And it has great themes. You know, it, it's funny, even though this story has been told a lot and you can tell where it's going, the themes that it explores and the story itself, it is always so engaging. You know, a movie like this comes out every five or six years. And every time it does, you are always so engaged. I think the last one was like Wolf of Wall Street. And you just kind of always love these kinds of stories, you know, of like a rise and fall of a company. It's immediately compelling, no matter what story it is. Anyway, well, like I said, no one's going to watch this video. So, um... Yeah, not a great video to advertise <laughs> my uh, GoFundMe. And also there's like a, uh, I made another movie that's coming out next week, which I should also be advertising. But again, no one's going to watch this video. Um, Life is Cruel. Glenn Howerton is great. I would give this movie a 9 out of 10. It's fantastic. Uh, next week I'm reviewing Fast X, hopefully. All right, goodbye.